Okay, let's talk about finding powers on your calculator. And here I have a problem. I want you to find five and two thirds and use your calculator. But I'm telling you right now, a good majority of you are likely gonna get this wrong. Now, I don't know if it's exactly 90%, but a lot of people are gonna get this wrong and it all depends on what calculator you're using as well. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you any of this in advance because I want you to uh, kind of test your ability to how to properly use your calculator. Now, again, depending on what type of calculator uh, you're, you have, some of you, you have uh, super advanced calculators that uh, could kind of bail you out in terms of not making this mistake, but others of you uh, could very well end up making this mistake. So if you want to go ahead and participate, uh, take uh, your calculator, your phone, whatever the case is, whatever device you want to use, and evaluate five and two thirds. Okay, tell me what that answer is and put your answer in the comment section, okay? And we're gonna compare notes here and see how well you know how to use your calculator. So I'm not gonna to try to make anyone feel bad here, but I wanna uh, do is highlight a very common mistake when it comes to using your calculator and uh, to make the broader point that your calculator is not the end all be all. Just because you have a calculator in uh, math doesn't mean that you're going to get math problems right. And I think a lot of students, unfortunately, think that, oh, if I got a calculator, I can do all these problems. Not true, okay? I mean, a calculator is a tool. You still need to know how to use that tool properly to get right answers. So we're gonna get into uh, this particular problem and the broader point of how to use your calculator, especially when you're evaluating powers but um, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But um, if you're struggling in your current math class, maybe you're not getting enough instruction or maybe you're not uh, you know, clicking with your teacher's teaching style, whatever the case might be, I've been teaching math for decades and I really pride myself on trying to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So I can help you out in your current math course. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, in terms of your math course, I could help you excel in mathematics. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam. Uh, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, nursing school entrance exam, on and on and on. There's so many tests out there that people do have to take. You got to pass these exams so I can help you prepare and pass those respective exams. If you homeschool, you got to definitely check out my homeschool math program, super comprehensive courses and um, parent management tools. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic just yet. I'm gonna leave links to my math notes in the description of this video, but uh, I've been teaching math for decades. The secret to getting great uh, grades in math is taking great math notes. Okay, so start improving your notes and you'll see all this magical stuff start happening in your math grades. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our uh, problem five and two thirds. Okay, this is our base five, and then we're taking this to this exponent two thirds. Go ahead and tell me what the answer is. Put your answer in the comment section. But uh, for those of you who are not quite sure how to start, well, I'm gonna give you a bit of a clue. I'm not gonna give you the final answer, but we're gonna talk about how to take um, powers on your calculator. So typically, most calculators, you're gonna find one or two buttons. You're gonna find this button or a button like this, okay? There are other buttons, but these are probably the most common uh, button, and probably this one here is the most common. Uh, button, okay? So but let's go ahead and see how this works. So if I wanted to take uh, and uh, find out what two to the fifth power is, i.e. two times two times two times two times two, and which of course is gonna be 32, right? So this is two times two, that's four, four times four is 16, 16 times two is 32. So the answer is 32, but uh, that's not really the main uh, thing that I'm trying to highlight. I'm, uh, it's, uh, the main point I'm trying to make is how do we you know, use our calculator to find powers? So if I wanted to find out what two to the fifth power is, what you're going to do is type in your base two, and then you're going to type in this key. Okay, this is again probably going to be the most common key. This is called a caret uh, symbol, and it just means hey, type this in, and then the next uh, value after that is going to be your exponent, and then you would hit your enter equal sign, and you should get 32. So let's just practice real quick with. Um, finding basic powers on your calculator, two to the fifth power. Now you could also have uh, this kind of button, uh, y to the x uh, or x to the y, 
Uh, that's another type of button that exists out there. This is a little bit less uh, common of a um, button, but look for a button like this or like this. Again, most of you are going to probably have this particular um, carrot function. But um, practice, make sure you can get 2 to the 5th power, okay? So you should be able to generate a 32. It's very important that you know how to use uh, this. Now, if you're using your cell phone, um, depending on your uh, particular phone, there might be an app or you could maybe switch. You may have like the basic calculator function, then you might have an option to switch to like a scientific mode where you can find, uh, you know, one of these uh, function keys. But typically what we're talking about here is for those of you that have an actual scientific calculator or a graphing calculator, etc. Okay. All right. So once you've uh, determined that, okay, you know how to uh, type in two to the fifth and get 32. All right. Uh, well, once you got that point, if you're like, okay, once, all right, I know how to do powers on my calculator. Well, then now go ahead and do this five and two thirds. Tell me what the answer is. I mean, you just uh, already learned how to take a power on your calculator. So take this power five and two thirds. Okay. All right. So do you have your answer ready? Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what the answer is. Okay, so here I have two um, answers, all right? So I have five and two thirds. Is it 8.3, and these are, it's approximately 8.33, uh, or 2.92? Which of these answers did you get, okay? All right, so how many of you picked this an uh, as your answer? Well, if you did, I must go ahead and give you a unfortunate sad face, okay? This is not the right answer, okay? Now, some of you are gonna be like, what are you talking about, it's not the right answer? I did this, you know, I'm like, you know, you're like, hmm, what are you talking about, question mark? Well, I'm gonna explain here in just a second. That's not the right answer. This is the correct answer, okay? So, 2.92. Now, depending on what calculator you have, now, uh, I was using, or I like to use a TI-84+, plus. that's a very advanced uh, graphing calculator. So if you use a calculator like TI-83, any super, like, you know, uh, you know, anything beyond a scientific calculator, you're probably going to be able to type this in, five and two-thirds, and it's going to uh, really forgive you in terms, it's going to make your life easier because you're going to be able to see that nice, you know, uh, exponent in the window. You'll see the two-thirds, and you'll come up with the right answer, okay? However, a lot of you would be just using a scientific calculator, uh, that doesn't have a graphing uh, window, okay? I'm talking about a graphing calculator where you can graph different functions, lines, and everything else like that. A scientific calculator has a lot of, you know, mathematical functions, but does not have a, um, a, a graphing component to it, okay? And this is, uh, you know, more basic kind of calculators you can pick up for like $20. But when you're studying algebra, okay, or middle school math, and algebra, and things like that, you don't really need a graphing calculator until you get into much more advanced math. So you may have been using a calculator and you might have typed in five and you hit that carrot, carrot button and you said, okay, two, and then you hit the division button, uh, thirds, okay? That's probably what you did. Okay. Now, again, if you got this answer right, 2.92, and you were not using a graphing calculator or an advanced calculator, then that's very, very good. Okay. That shows me you know what you're doing. So if you type this in, 5 carat 2 divided by 3 to kind of like, you know, represent that exponent, well, you were definitely thinking along the right track. However, let's take a look at what you actually typed in. Okay. What did you actually type in? Well, what you typed in is this. You said five. This is what? This is, you're going to be adding an exponent, but the exponent you're adding in is two. What you just typed in is five squared divided by three. Okay, five squared divided by three. That's what you typed in. Because remember, uh, the order of operations, you do powers before uh, division. Okay, so your calculator is going to interpret, you know, the order of operations. It's going to be, oh, okay, what you're telling me to do here is take 5 to the second power and then divide that answer by 3. Okay, so if I wanted you to, you know, figure this out, you would type this in, 5 squared divided by 3. So we made a mistake, and again, this is a very, very common mistake. It's um, And I'm highlighting this not to make you feel bad, but just to, you know, really... Um, 
you know, highlight uh, that you need to put in parentheses, okay? So anytime you're taking, you got an exponent like this, a little fractional exponent, you can never go wrong by putting in grouping symbols. So this is the way you want to do it. So you're going to go 5, caret, put a parentheses in so it's very explicit that uh, your exponent is 2 divided by 3. Now, when you do the order of operations, remember we do what's inside parentheses first, okay? And then we do uh, powers second. So this would uh, end up with the right answer being around 2.92. Okay, but if you did get 8.33, it's not the end of the world. Again, don't make this mistake. As a math teacher, I probably graded, oh, at least 100,000 uh, quizzes, tests, homework assignments over the years. I don't know if it's that many, but it was a lot, okay? And you see these common mistakes over and over and over again. Now, if you do have one of these super fancy calculators, like a TI-84, TI-83, and you were like lucky enough just to get this right answer, you should still understand this principle, okay? And be very mindful anytime you're using your calculator, okay? Because the bigger point here is whether we're talking about powers and exponents or anything else, you need to understand the underlying mathematical concepts and uh, skills right, to correctly program and tell your calculator what you want to do. You just don't want to be blindly putting in things in your calculator and hitting the enter you know, uh, button to get a result. You need to understand the mechanics of what's going on. And this is a uh, perfect example of something that seems so simple and how we can get two, you know, two answers that are completely different. All right, so um, if you learn something, that's the whole idea of this video, um, then go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math by calculus. So again, my goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of all the content that I have uh, already uh, posted and will be posting, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.